Let's talk about inositols, which for a very long time have been debated as a potential alternative to metformin in treating PCOS. And it comes around on socials and people are promoting it as a cure for PCOS. Just off the bat, it's not a cure. Inositols is a supplement. It's a type of sugar with several important functions. It is actually naturally found in foods such as fruits, beans, grains and nuts. And your body also produces inositol from carbohydrates you eat. It also interestingly has a really good influence on the action of insulin a hormone which is essential for blood sugar control also in addition to this it affects chemical messages in your brain such as serotonin and dopamine because of inositol having so many of these functions so many people talk about it as an alternative to metformin which is a treatment options for managing pcos symptoms what is PCOS? Well, polycystic ovary syndrome is the most common endocrine disorder. It's a lifelong whole body metabolic disorder that impacts insulin resistance and affects androgen levels. Now, there can also be cysts in the ovaries, but you don't necessarily need to have cysts in the ovaries to have the diagnosis of PCOS. There are actually four types of PCOS. Number one, insulin resistance PCOS, which is the most common. Number two, post pill PCOS, which is triggered after stopping birth control. Number three, adrenal PCOS, so caused by stress or hormone related. And number four, PCOS, which is inflammatory. So inflammatory PCOS driven by chronic inflammation. So for the most common insulin resistant PCOS, sometimes deemed as diabetes of the ovaries, that occurs when the body's cells don't respond properly to insulin. And that's the hormone that I said earlier regulates blood sugar. So that leads the body to produce more insulin to compensate, which can exacerbate PCOS symptoms, which means you get excessive androgen production, so testosterone production, which impacts your hair, so thinning of the hair at the top, hair growth elsewhere, so like your face, your arms, your back, your buttocks, your legs, and also acne growth as well, which can be cystic and problematic, as well as cause psychological symptoms, low mood, depression, anxiety, irritability, rage and irregular periods also impact your fertility and also affect your ability to lose weight. So therefore you gain weight and that increases the risk of type 2 diabetes because try as you might, you just simply cannot lose weight because of the fact that your body and your insulin resistance just isn't helping you along. In 2023, a big systematic review and meta-analysis of randomized controlled trials were done of inositol and also metformin to see the effectiveness, the safety, and whether it is a good treatment for polycystic ovary syndrome. What that systematic review actually came to conclude was that inositol is an effective and safe treatment for PCOS. And we're talking about insulin resistance PCOS. However, inositols show non-inferiority in most outcomes compared to the gold standard treatment, which is metformin. So actually metformin is much better. However, we have to also balance that out with some people just can't tolerate metformins because what they do is they get GI symptoms such as nausea, uh, bloating, also might get um, sickness, might get diarrhea or constipation. But actually when they looked at the data and the effectiveness of it, metformin still came out as gold standard. And that advice was also incorporated into the international evidence-based guidelines for the assessment and management of PCOS, which I really recommend that people look at as well. Getting a management plan for PCOS is tough because it's so difficult and tricky and not one size fits all, because like I said, there are four different types of PCOS that you could have. I think firstly, rather than just buying supplements and getting drawn in online um, and also by brands saying, try this, this cured my PCOS is a really tricky ground. So I would always say discuss with your doctor, discuss with your women's health GP or your PCOS specialist and try and find and navigate your way around managing your PCOS symptoms because it is a lifelong condition which has no cure. So it's all about managing that and also finding out where you are in your biological journey, whether fertility is important to you, whether actually it's your regular periods, whether it's the physical symptoms or the psychological symptoms that you're trying to manage. But yeah, um, overall, some of my patients, I do recommend inositol for them and it works. Um, for some patients, they try it and it doesn't work whatsoever. So it's, it's trying different things, um, but I hope that's been helpful. I'm not against inositols at all. I work as an NHS GP. Um, and I just hope that sort of gives you some idea uh, of what the data shows.